Hi, my name is Rich Harrington. Welcome to this week's episode of Final Cut Help, brought to you by creativecow.net. Today, we're going to take a look at a cool feature that often goes overlooked, and that's because it's buried inside a menu. Now, it's going to be called the External Editors command, and it lets you tie third-party software into Final Cut Studio. Here's how. What you need to do is go to the Final Cut Pro menu and go to System Settings. Inside of there is a tab called External Editors. And what you want to do is assign how to handle your different files. Now, by default, the audio files are going to go to Soundtrack Pro. And video files usually isn't set because you're either using Color or Final Cut, which is already set for you. But graphic files is wide open. What you could do is click the Set button and then navigate to your Applications folder. I'm going to go to Photoshop CS4, select the application, and click Choose. What this means is, is that when I have a graphic file, I can update it using Photoshop without ever having to leave the Final Cut timeline. Simply click on the file, tell it to open in Photoshop, and then the applications will switch over for you. Here's how it works. Now, you'll see that we've got a graphic assigned in this particular project. And like many graphics, there's a misspelling. Now, we won't point fingers. I actually put it there on purpose, but misspellings happen, as do other mistakes that need updating. But now, it's much easier. A quick right click, and we could say open an editor. It'll switch to Photoshop and open up right there. Now, that was really easy, but you need to save this in the right file format. Now, if you save a PSD file and you bring that into Final Cut, it gets really messy. In fact, your graphic ends up taking up all sorts of tracks. So unless you need a layered file, don't do that. But if you want to make changes, you have to have layers. So what are you to do? The key is use a layered TIFF file. That's just a regular TIFF with the layered box checked. Here's how it works. We've got all of our layers here, and you see we've got our text on separate layers. We can make changes and updates, do whatever we need to do. And I'm just going to say Edit, Check Spelling. It finds a misspelling. I'll tell it to go ahead and change that. And we're all set, except the alpha channel's messed up. If I look at alpha, you'll see that it's not lining up. It's got the old information in it. So let's just throw that alpha channel away and come up to the Actions panel here. If you don't see Actions, just choose Window, Actions. From the Actions panel, you've got the Video Actions, and we simply choose Alpha Channel from Visible Layer and click Play. It makes a new Alpha Channel for you. It's all set, got the ramp transparency, and we can go ahead and save this file. Now, I've already saved it as a TIFF, but if you didn't, you would just choose Save As, Specify TIFF, tell it to include Alpha Channel and Layers. In my case, we could just hit Close and tell it to save. Switch back over to Final Cut, and you see it thinks for a second, and then updates. And that's how easy it is. With changing that external editors command, you can easily jump from Final Cut Studio to another app. In this case, we went from Final Cut Pro right to Photoshop. Remember, it's right up there in the Final Cut Pro menu. Just go to System Settings, click on External Editors, and then set the external editor for the still image file. Tremendously useful command, incredibly overlooked. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Final Cut Help. You can head on over to Creative Kyle where we've got all sorts of advice and great forums you could check out, as well as other tutorials. Just visit creativekyle.net. For Final Cut Help, I'm Rich Harrington.